Okay, so let's work through one uh, other example here. Uh, so we've got this cantilever beam, five feet long, bolted to the wall here at B. It has a concentrated load at the end of 750 pounds, and it's got this distributed load uh, that is 200 pound, pounds per foot uh, that extends a uniform distributed load that extends three feet. So uh, first things first, let's draw a quick free body diagram of this sucker here. Okay, so got our beam, 750 pounds, got the 200 pounds per foot distributed section. And then we're going to have our reactions at B. So uh, we're going to have some sort of reaction in the x direction, and we're going to have some sort of reaction in the y direction. And since it is a fixed support, we're also going to have we're also going to have a moment applied at B. Yeah, I'm going to draw the moment in a different color. Okay. So, uh, first step would be to take our distributed load and replace it with uh, an equivalent uh, concentrated point load. I think I'm starting to get, get the hang of drawing a straight line on this damn tablet thing. Okay, so 200 uh, pounds per foot, foot, three feet long. That means that we have a 600 pound uh, force. And we know that the location of that 600 pound force is going to be located smack dab in the middle of the uniform section. That'll be 1.5 feet. And we still got our 750 here. And we got our BY, BX, and our moment at B. So uh, we can start solving uh, using our uh, equations of equilibrium here. So first off, let's get this out of the way. Sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero. Therefore, bx is equal to zero. Yay, that was easy. Sum of the forces in the y direction. That one's also fairly easy. That's equal to zero, which is equal to negative 750 minus 600 plus by that's all in pounds which gives us a by is equal to 1350 pounds almost looked like a B, but let's do that again. There we go. Okay, and we've got our other reaction. So we've, we've got a moment. Uh, what is the moment there? So the easiest way to do that, just take the moment about B. So the sum of the moment at B is equal to zero. So that's going to be our MB, our reaction moment. And again, uh, since it's an unknown, we denoted it as a positive moment. It might end up being negative, who knows. 
I mean, I know I can tell it is, but anyways. <laughs> and so that. And so we've got the other terms. Uh, so the 600 pounds is going to cause a moment when we've taken about B as well. Uh, so it has a magnitude uh, of 600 pounds. That's a negative 600 pounds because it's acting in a negative y, uh, y direction. The displacement from B to the point of application, that's a negative 1.5 feet because again we're measuring from this point and I guess I should have defined my coordinate system but you know anytime I forget to define my coordinate system just assume that's it <laughs> so it's a negative uh, 1.5 feet so the negative and the negative cancel out which means that this is a positive clockwise counterclockwise rotation about B which is what we do Uh, so we got MB plus 600 times 1.5 feet, 600 pounds times 1.5 feet. And then similarly, uh, we've got the 750 and 5 feet. Pounds times 5 feet. Which means that we can solve for MB by, you know, taking these, moving them over to the other side. So MB is going to be equal to, let's see, 600 times 1.5 is nine. This is 900, and 750 times 5. That's 3750. So take them over to the other side, and we've got a negative. Four thousand six hundred and fifty pound feet. So the actual reaction uh, that's occurring here is going to be a clockwise re reaction, uh, which isn't surprising because you know both these things are both things these things are pushing this way. So the reaction needs to try to to counteract that rotation like this. <laughs> 